Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact, and I want to help you write great quiz titles because that's honestly the most frequently asked question that we get. What should I make my title? Sorry, what should I make my quiz about? Or what's the best quiz for my business? What type of quiz should I make? So we have lots of resources for that. We have a community. We have um, a free course that you can take. We have coaching, all of these things. But also now there is AI, uh, specifically open AI. So you can use that to generate content for you. And I want to show you what that looks like when it comes to writing your own quiz titles using this. So let me share my screen. Okay, so here I am in the open AI tool and I'm going to click right here on playground. Now over on the left here on my other screen, I'm looking at the blog post that our CEO Josh wrote on how to write the best quiz titles using AI. Um, and the reason I have that pulled up is because he's included some prompts in there that we can use um, as it relates to any business that you might have or niche or topic that you might want to make your quiz on. So the first one is a personality quiz. So typically a personality quiz is used when you're trying to teach teach someone something about themselves, or you want someone to learn something more about themselves, their style, their personality type, right? Um, as it relates to something. So the prompt that he included in the blog is what are the top 25 most popular? So this is something that can be changed out personality quizzes that entrepreneurs, again, this could be changed out would want to take. Um, so if that resonates with your um, business, then use that. But if entrepreneurs is not who you're targeting, um, then change this out, right? Um, if you didn't want to use most popular, but wanted to use like most researched or um, something like that, you could change these terms as well. So let's just see if I click submit here, what comes up. And then maybe from this, we can see what else we would want to maybe change up in this prompt. Um, or maybe it'll give us a title right away. So sometimes I have noticed this. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a glitch or I know the system was down earlier today. Um, I clicked submit. You can see here I can cancel it, but it's still sort of thinking, but it didn't give me any information. So I'm just going to give it a minute. And if this happens, just wait for the submit to come back like this. Click it again. And there it goes. It worked. Um, or you can refresh the page. Both of those options seem to work for me. So, all right, these are the most uh, popular personality quizzes that an entrepreneur would want to take. So look through these and see, is this something that, um, is this the quiz topic that your ideal customer would want to take? And let's just read through them. So what type of entrepreneur are you? What kind of business owner are you? Cool. So let's just change this out now for, I think I have to delete the answers because I'm going to reuse the same prompt. Um, and let's change this out to photographers. Cool. So just right away, I noticed what camera should you use is a totally different quiz as um, it relates to what type of photographer are you, right? But maybe those quizzes could be one in the same in that the type of photographer that you are, maybe you're outside or versus inside in a studio um, would depict what type of camera you should use as well. So that's just a, this is really great way to see given that once you create your your one the same quiz right like you create your quiz could you just in, change out the title to do sort of like an a b test based on that awesome so again play around with these prompts change out specifically this persona that you're trying to target you really want to call attention to your ideal customers so think about who that person is and then add those keywords into here into this prompt so that a quiz for that specific person would appear I'm going back to the blog post that Josh wrote, and the next prompt he gives is how to write assessment titles with AI. And assessment, again, I'm going to just delete this. An assessment style quiz is used mainly when you want to see how much somebody knows about something or they're trying to trying to test their own um, sort of like level of knowledge as it relates to this topic. There we go. It comes out right away. So here for the assessment style quizzes, again, this is the prompt that Josh put in the blog post from Intract. What are the 25 most popular? Again, that can be changed out for a different term, manufacturing quizzes. Or let's put, and you can see some of the titles there. Let's put skincare quizzes. I think 
I don't want it to think this is part of my prompt. So if you're doing what I just did and like restarting, make sure that you delete out what it already writes. And then I change it to skincare and I'm hitting submit. And so here are all skincare quiz titles that you could use. I just think this is so fun. It's giving you all of the information right here. Um, I love to travel. Let's put in travel quizzes. Oops. So I want to delete this again so that it's not thinking the skincare titles are part of my prompt. It's just giving me the most popular um, travel quiz titles. Here we go. Which city should you visit next? And to be honest with you, a lot of these titles that are coming up, <laughs> excuse me, a lot of these titles that are coming up remind me or are blah, um, quiz templates that we have available. So if you are seeing something that comes up as a very popular quiz, make sure you're checking the interact within your dashboard, um, the different quiz templates that we have, because it could be that this quiz is already written for you. Um, and you don't have to go much further than searching a title, figuring out what's most popular, and then using the template that interact already has created. Okay, I'm going to delete this out. And the last prompt that Josh gives us are for trivia quiz titles. So this is more of like a fun concept uh, to see, again, how much somebody might know about something. This specific prompt is related to vegan food. So if I hit submit. Cool. So again, all popular quiz titles that you could use as it relates to vegan food or to, let's do travel again, just because we saw some of those travel assessment style quizzes. What would a trivia travel quiz look like? So name that European city, fun, name that airport, a landmark. So you can see the difference in the types of quizzes and you're um, telling the AI to write the specific quiz that you're looking for. And then you can go ahead and use that title. So that my friends is probably the fastest way to find your most popular quiz titles. If you're, you know, maybe stuck in your own way or uh, can't figure out which one would be best, check out this tool, super easy to use um, and really gives you great information uh, to get started with writing a quiz.